welcome back to Elm Colors. I'm Erica, and this is the second in the uh, collection series, my, my whole coloring book collection series. Um, and it's definitely going to take more than two. <laughs> so sorry about that. And um, I think we should just jump right in. Again, grab a beverage or some coloring supplies and settle in. All right. So first thing I have is this Disney Princesses book. I I got this on um, Amazon because I needed it. I didn't have hardly any Disney coloring books. So I decided I needed it and I was very upset when I got it. And well, not upset, I was just disappointed. I really, really love the main artwork of all of the pages. Um, I do not care for the crazy busy patterns in the background. So I'm going to try to think of what I can do to kind of cover that up maybe, or maybe just like color it all the same color. I'm not sure what I'm going to do, but like ones like this, this one's beautiful. And I just wish that all of them were like that. Like this one would be really beautiful if those, I didn't like, I don't like the shells in the background. So I think, you know, I don't know. So this one has got the, all the Disney princesses up to Rapunzel. So um, no frozen girls in here, but everything else is in here. So, you know, the main artwork is, is great. I just, the, the patterns aren't my favorite. This next one is another Disney one I bought and <laughs> in a completely different vein. I was also slightly disappointed with this one because there are so many details. I just, I, I love, I love that I have these, these pictures on this side. I don't know how I'm going to turn this into this. Um, I'll, I'll try on a few of them, but I just, I don't see how I'm going to be able to do it. This might be one of those ones where, you know, they say just put some color down and see where you go. So, I don't know. I am happy to have these, though, because I love all the Thomas Kincaid artwork. It's so pretty. So, yeah, so this one is a Disney Thomas Kincaid pr uh, princess book. The next one I have is Mysterious Library. This one is by um, Angie Park. And this is another beautiful book. Um, I do have one completed page and one whip in here. But again, this is a book with a ton of details that is just breathtakingly beautiful and I'm afraid to mess it up. So I haven't done very many. So I've got this one, which I'll kind of turn so you can see it this way. Um, and then I've got this one that I've started, um, but it is I used Tim Holtz Distress Crayons, and this was a just an experiment. Um, so I'm going to try to duplicate it onto this page and, and see how we do. It's not a necessarily a medium that you can really get into the tiny details, but when you have big areas like this to fill, it's a great it's a great tool or a great um, supply to use. See, that's just that's so pretty, it's so pretty, and I would love to finish it to start it even. <laughs> Um, but yeah, this book is, it's one that I'd get out and I look at and I flip through and I'm just, I love it. So yeah, that's Mysterious Library by N.G. Park. This one is the Harry Potter coloring book. I do have one finished page in here that I finished forever ago. It was this one. Um, yeah, my coloring style has changed quite a bit since then. I think that might have been Prismacolor pencils that I used. Um, I'm upset that I did that one first because I feel like I could do it justice now. My skills have slightly improved. Um, yeah, there's a color along coming up in February that I will break out this book and do a page in. I have not decided which one yet. But I think that I could, I think that I could do a decent job on one of these. 
The pattern ones aren't my favorite. I really like the ones with the characters. Um, but yeah. So that one is, oh, and it's got at the back, it's got all of the cool art. Um, and then scenes from the movies and stuff. Oh, the concept art. That's what those ones are, concept art. So yeah, that, so that's the Harry Potter coloring book. I think that's a scholastic, let me double check. Yeah, it's a scholastic book. Next I have two from Grazia Salvo. Um, these are the only books I have from her. I did order them through her Etsy shop. And I've not finished um, any pages in either one. I've just gone through and done a bunch of skin tones. Um, I do have one whip that's in here. Uh, it's not in this book, it's in the other book. But there's a bunch of ones that have just been started. And then this one has the one that's closest to being done. And that's this one here. I think it's a really pretty page and I think once I finish, I just have to force myself to do this hair. That, that, this took a really long time and I'm dreading doing this side. So I'll have to just force myself to do it. Um, and at least I have the colors written down. I was smart in that, in that decision, so. Um, and then I've got some fun color skin tones in here. There's some greens. I think there's a blue one later on. Yeah, some more of the green one and a blue one. So I'm excited to do some of those. This, these ones will probably be ones that I pull out for my um, color more portraits type videos or challenges to myself. Um, this one is Deck the Halls Coloring Book by Design Originals. There's a there's several different artists. I think this lists all of them, maybe four or five different artists in the book, and each picture is credited by, down at the bottom, by who drew it and all of that, all of their information. I have two finished pages. I have this one. This one's the first one I did in this book, and I was not very pleased with how it turned out, um, so I hadn't picked up this book for a really long time, and then this year, I picked it up and I did this page, which... I don't know if you can see it, but there's a lot of sparkles. I did stickles on um, all the marshmallows and these three cups, and it was really, really fun one to do. And this is the type of pattern that I can do because it's not too repetitive. Even though it's the same mug in several spots, I just slightly changed the, um, the colors in it switch the colors around a little bit and and that made it more interesting for me so yeah there's a lot of fun pictures in here some that I would never color but others like this one that would be really cool to color so, so yeah so that one's deck the halls by design originals this next one is called all things bright and beautiful it is illustrated by Margaret Kimball it's basically um, this hymn all things bright and beautiful and then they take um, sayings or phrases from the hymn and put it on one side, and then on the other side, there's a beautiful illustration of color. So this is a really pretty book. I have not colored in it yet, but there's some really great pictures in here that I would love to color. I just haven't got to them yet. Um, I am making a list of all the books that I have not colored in yet, and I, that's, they're, they're gonna go on a checklist, so anytime I can check one off will be a, a small victory for me. So that one is All Things Bright and Beautiful. The next one I have is In the Forest by Stacy Peterson. This one's a cool one. I like the front and back covers. They show you kind of the color palettes that they chose and how they used it on the, on the photos. Um, on the artwork and then this one had started as my daughter's coloring book and I kind of hijacked it because <laughs> there's some really cute little images in here um, and I thought that I would attempt to do some of those. She's colored a couple in here but has mostly ignored this book so I really want to color that owl. I like it oh, and that turtle's cute. <laughs> this is the one that she did so yeah, that's a, that's a good one. The paper's decent quality. It's a little smooth, not much tooth on it, but hopefully I'll be able to work around that. 
Um, so that's In the Forest by Stacy Peterson. This next one makes me laugh every time I see it. <laughs> it's the Jason Momoa coloring book. Um, this <laughs> was given to me by my sister-in-law uh, for Christmas this year. So I have not colored in it yet, but it, it's funny. Um, it's illustrated by Maurizio Campidelli. And it's basically just Jason Momoa doing different stuff. Um, yeah. <laughs> it makes it just makes me laugh. There's one in here that I really love. That one's that just seems funny to me. And then this one, where is it? Um, oh shoot, this one. He's wrestling an alligator. It's just hilarious. So, yeah. <laughs> That is the Jason Momoa coloring, coloring book. I do believe there is a um, Keanu Reeves one, too. So if you like either one of them, then this is the, the book for you. Um, this one is A Million Christmas Cats by John Bigwood. I got this three Christmases ago, and I've only colored two, well, four pages, but two layouts. So there's this one. And again, I've got lots of sparkles on there. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but lots of stickles. Um, and then I'm on the, the fireplace in the background. I did this herringbone pattern that is not one of the first things you see, but of course I spent forever trying to make it look real. <laughs> and then there's this layout here that I did last Christmas. And oh, that one my cousin did. Um, lots of cute ones in this one. It's hard to pick the ones that I like the best. That's A Million Christmas Cats by John Bigwood. This next one I found in um, our local grocery store. This is Unicorns and Mystical Creatures by Ben Krefta, and it's a glow-in-the-dark manga coloring book. So I've done one picture in here, and it's this one. I've got some stickles in the background, and I don't know if you'll be able to see it. I'll try to move it up close to the, but around the outlines of all of the character, there is glow in the dark um, material. So that's only on some pages and other pages like this one don't have any at all. So this one would be a good one to color with um, markers or um, alcohol markers or pencils, however you wanna do it. They are double-sided so you'd have to, if you're gonna use alcohol markers, definitely, you know, if you would be willing to sacrifice that page to color that page, which I would. Um, then you could go ahead and do that, but there's really some really cool images in here. Let me see if I can find one that's got a really, there's, there's a good one that shows the, you can really see the difference. So that's this white part and then this yellowish part all in here is the ones that, um, is what glows in the dark. So the only thing I didn't like about it was that you couldn't get to the edge. So you had that white outline no matter where you went. Um, and I used Prismacolors on there, and it was kind of hard to blend it. So maybe a different pencil the next time I color in here. But yeah, it's it's pretty cute. My daughter really likes this one too, so I'll let her pick out some pages that she wants to color. So yeah, that is Unicorns and Mystical Creatures by Ben Krefta. Next we have A Bestiary of Tolkien. Um, this is by Maro Mazzara and Andrea Piparo. Um, this is basically all of the beasts and creatures and beings of Middle Earth from, you know, oh, I did, well, you got to see that. Where is it? This one. There's Gollum, which I love that. I've seen this one colored and it, it was really cool. Um, you know, the, I know that, oh, and that one's Smog from The Hobbit. Lots of really cool ones. There's a wraith, some wraiths. I do have one uh, whip in here, but I haven't finished. So I've got, I've got this one started. This was started quite a long time ago and I just haven't gotten back to it. But I've got the mountains colored in the background and the sky done. It's supposed to be like just a gray, yucky sky. Um, I, I'm hoping that I can do a little bit better on his um, armor because this doesn't look 
as shiny as I would like it to look, I think, for, for an elf. I think their armor is super shiny. Um, yeah. There's just tons of fun images. Some of them are icky. Ooh, there's the Black Riders from the first Lord of the Rings, well, from the Lord of the Rings movies. So that one will be a neat one to color, too. Um, yeah, so I really love this. I really love the artwork. I'm excited to color in this more. I'm going to put this back in. It's got my colors on it. So that is a bestiary of Tolkien. Um, this one is Mouse Guard by David Peterson. I have one completed page in here and one whip. I'm sure that people have seen this, but this is an example of some of the artwork. It's just absolutely breathtakingly beautiful. Um, and I started this one. Um, I found out recently, I can't remember which YouTuber it was that I was watching, but um, they said that the um, ink tents work really well in these books. So I really want to try that. I think I kind of got discouraged doing all this background and even just this one leaf with pencils. And I was like, well, that would have been way easier with, <laughs> with ink tents or some other kind of water medium. Um, but these smaller squares you get done pretty quickly. This is the other one. This is the one I finished. I was really happy with the way it turned out. I like how I got the highlights or the, the lights from the lamp. Um, and I love how the pencils lay down on this paper and there's no, you can't see any white, any white shine through and there's no pencil marks and it just looks like it was a printed picture. So I, I was really happy with that out. Um, but yeah, this is a really cool book. This one is a really popular one that a lot of people have done too. So yeah, that is Mouse Guard Coloring Book by David Peterson. Then I've got Mermaids in Paradise by Denise Collette. This is the only one of hers that I own. Um, and I have only colored one picture in here. Um, I don't know why I haven't done more. There's some really cute ones in here. Um, it was this one, and I did that with ink tents. It was all ink tents. I was not pleased with how the background turned out. I was grumpy about how that worked, but I like the birds. The birds turned out pretty cute. So I'm, I, I can see myself going back in here. This would be a good one to pull out in May for Mermaid. That one's super cute, a little piggy. So yeah, so that one is Mermaids in Paradise by Denise Collette. This next one is Maja's Mandalas by Maja Vandenberg. I have not colored anything in here. I bought this to support Maja and um, I follow her on Instagram and I her artwork is beautiful. Um, like I said earlier, my mandalas are not, or mandalas are not my favorite images to color, but like these, those type of things I could totally do this one I think there's one a love one in here that I might do next month um, so that one's really pretty yeah so that one is Maja's Mandalas this is Circle Portraits by Laura Rafferty again this is another Instagram artist that I follow she does beautiful coloring pages and her own artwork is gorgeous um, I have only finished one in here and I don't have any other whips, so that's the one I finished. I don't know if you can see the sparkle on her wings, but I did some sparkle there. Um, I just, Laura was doing a tutorial, I think, for this, and I, she was using like this blue color as like a, a shadow on the skin tone, and I was like, well, I'm just going to do the whole, <laughs> the whole skin in this color, and I was, it was okay. It was an early attempt at skin, so, and that color is not a normal color to use. But there's some really cool images in here, too. Some of them look an awful lot like celebrities, like this one looks like um, Ian McKellen. That one looks like Cameron Diaz. So that's kind of cool to be able to color pictures of them. Um, yeah. So that is Circle Portraits by Laura Rafferty. 
This next one is Tropical World by Millie Murata. I have a couple of whips in here, um, but this is a book that fills me with anxiety every time I open it and look at it because I think it's so beautiful. There's one my daughter did. Um, I think it's so lovely. I just don't know what to do with all these lines. It's just, it's a little overwhelming. So this is the only one I finished. And when I was done with it, I really didn't ever <laughs> want to do another um, one in this book. But, you know, lately I've been going through it and flipping, and there's more that I started that never got finished. I don't know, I've seen some really great pictures online of these, and I just, just haven't done anything yet, so. Yeah, that's Tropical World by Millie Murata. And then I've got The Night Voyage by Daria Song. This is also the only one that I have of hers. This is a theme. This is another one that fills me with anxiety to look at some of these photos or some of these pages. Like this one, that one I could probably do. It's not, it's not too detailed. This one, yeah, I could totally do that. Even these, these two are fine. There's one that <laughs> is this one. I, there's no way. <laughs> and the ones with like the city behind her. Holy moly. And that one, oh, they're, they're beautiful pages. I really like to just look at the book. Um, it's a be it's a wonderfully drawn story. But, yeah, I don't know about coloring all of that. So, I have not bought any other Daria Song ones, and that's kind of why. Until I can color in this one, there's no way that I, I need to let myself get another one. So, Night Voyage by Daria Song. And to go with that theme of overwhelming detail, this is Zemla, Zem nope, I can't pronounce it. Zemlia Snova, maybe, by Tomislav Tomic. And I've started the cover and this inside with some ink tents or some Neo Colors. I can't remember. I think it's Neo Colors. Um, and then I've only done one page in here because, again, this is one where I pick it up and I look at it and I'm like, oh, it's so pretty. And then I just get overwhelmed by all the detail. So this is the one that I did. Um, there was a lot of markers and then uh, pencils and then the background was pastels and I was just, I was so tired by the time I was done. Um, if I, I wonder if this is where my aversion to birds came from because there's so many birds on this side. And we can see some, I mean there's a ton of them. Um, and that's not, I didn't even have to color their feathers. I just had to color like those long tails. But I was like, ugh, birds, more birds. Um, yeah, so this is a pretty, really pretty book, but I just have to, I have to be in the right mode for this, for sure. Yep, so that is Zemlia Snova. Okay, this one's gonna seem a little weird, but it is the Crayola Coloring and Activity Pad Disney Princess. This one was for my daughter. It came with seven washable markers. That's why this one's, there's a big hole in the cover. Um, and she started it and then she was just like, no, I don't wanna color it. So I was gonna throw it out or give it to somebody else. And then I started looking at the images and they're super cute. And like I said, I didn't have very many Disney books, so I'm keeping it. <laughs> I'm going to color in it and see how it goes. And most of the images on the opposite side, there's like some kind of activity or something. So I could do that in markers and not worry about the backside. So there's some really cute ones. It's got most of the princesses in it. That was a cute one of... Rapunzel. So yeah, so that is the Crayola Disney Princesses book. Um, this one is Tiny Kingdom by Lila Alexander. I only have one finished picture in here, um, but there are several images that I really like. What I don't always love is that 
you can tell that it's just been digitally flipped. So she did the one side and then she flipped it, or it's super measured and detailed. Um, not all of the images are like that, but a lot of them, enough of them that it, it's frustrating to me like this one. Um, and I love this image, but I don't like that this is all the same all the way up. Um, but there are several other really cute little things in here. I've only colored one thing and it was this one and I had, uh, it was a color challenge. I was only allowed to use five pencils. I'm not pleased with what I did with those five pencils. So um, I have not picked up this book since. This was in 2019. And my coloring style has changed quite a bit since then. So um, yeah, I might do better in this book. I just haven't gotten back to it. And that one's really cute too. So yeah, Tiny Kingdom Lila Alexander. Then I've got um, Coloring Fantasy Volume 2 by Scott Howden. This one has a couple finished pages. This was an early purchase for me. Um, so there's a couple finished pages, some skin tone bases, and then there's a couple of whips as well. Um, there's that one. That's I, I consider that a whip. I finished the girl, but I haven't finished any of the other. There's one that's finished. So this one was in 2017, so that's been... It's been a good while since I finished these, since I've colored in this book. Um, this one was, so this was the first time I tried to use alcohol markers in, in here, and I don't know if you can see on her face right here, I messed up really badly with the, mar the alcohol markers and I couldn't get it to blend out with the pencils, so I just gave her a scar. <laughs> um, and it was kind of before I knew how to do metal. So these gears look okay, but these ones are need some work um, but her robot arm looks pretty cool um, there's that one started and then this one here I finished as well the nice thing about this book is it's got the titles of the um, the artwork on the back and I didn't know what kind of bird that was and it says back here that it's a kingfisher so I looked up what it's supposed to look like and then got the whole color scheme from that so that was pretty helpful um, really pretty artwork printed on Amazon paper so you know if you know how to use it then you should be good um, which thankfully I've learned how to do that now so so yeah this is um, coloring fantasy volume 2 by Scott Howden this one is Bella Futura by Jennifer Zimmerman um, I like that this book has two copies of each image but the second copy is just a little different so the second half of this book has black added to the images in some places so I'll hold that one there and then the front half is just the um, line art so there's the one that I finished and there's the one on the black that really would have popped on the black but I like it on the white too um, so yeah and this was done with mostly mostly Prismacolor some a couple of polychromos but these are really beautiful images. I like it a lot. I know she's got maybe a couple other books. I don't know if it says in the back here. Yeah. Um, her artwork. And then she's got those secrets of coloring books that kind of tell you how to color specific things. So, yeah, really great book. Um, this one is Jasmine Beckett Griffith Fantasy Art Adventure Coloring Book. I have a couple of finished in here and many whips. <laughs> So there's that one, that one, and that one's so close to being done. I wish I'd just, just finish it. So I finished this one, which I thought was really cute with my little pastel frogs. Um, there's a whip, there's a whip. <laughs> um, this was the first one I started and I, I don't know why I stopped, but I haven't gone back to finish it, so I still have to do that. Here's the other one I finished. I was really happy with this one. I looked up what a Maine Coon looks like and tried my hardest to make it look similar. Um, and then I got, I was happy with the shading. I finally felt like I got the shading right on their faces, kind of like Jasmine does on her girls. That's it, I think, in here. Yep, so that one is Jasmine Beckett Griffith's coloring book. This one is August Reverie by Chinthaka Harath by Vivid Publishers. They have a whole um, series of books and they're really good. Um, beautiful images. 
very cool images. I like them a lot. And I did um, an experiment in this one. I've got a couple where I've based them with alcohol markers. And then, um, so this one is just, I tried to see what watercolor or water mediums would do on this paper. Um, and it buckled it quite a bit, but not enough that it's gonna bother me. And then I can go over it with pencil. You can see I've started to do that on her face, on her hair here. But this was all ink tense, so that was, it turned out okay. Um, there's another one I started. And then this one is another one I did with that clear gesso. Um, and the water medium blended beautifully. Um, this is the one where I tried to do pencil. I'm gonna see if I can get kind of close and see if you can see it. Where I tried to do pencil around her head up here, you know, like this shading, normal shading that you would do. And I pressed really hard, especially underneath her chin, and you cannot, get that pencil to stay on that gesso and I was so upset I would think it it was good and then I would dust it off a little bit and all of it would go away <laughs> so I gotta get back in and paint the details in but I think it'll be pretty once it's done um yeah so that's August Reverie um this one is one that my husband picked up for me at a convention we have here in town called Gen Con it's a cool gaming convention and this was, this was um, illustrated by Nate Taylor, but it was created by Patrick Rothfuss and Nate Taylor. So if you know, um, Patrick Rothfuss is a wonderful author. And um, so my husband got that because he knew that I liked him. So um, the only page I've colored in this is the title page so far, but it's pretty cute. <laughs> the images in here are so fun. It's basically, It's basically this girl kind of um, taking care of her little brother and playing with him throughout the, throughout the whole book in different really unexpected ways sometimes. <laughs> um, like there's the where the wild things are kind of layout. There's one in here that's my favorite. That There's an Alice in Wonderland one. Um, it's just really cute. This one's my favorite with the Doctor Who. <laughs> um, she's got this one here that's Sherlock Holmes and then the teddy bear's got like a mustache on. Princess from the Black Lagoon. It's just really cute. And it the pencils went down on it pretty decently. So, oh, this was to support Patrick Rothfuss's um, charity world, world beer. World, oh, gosh, world builders. There we go. I got it. Um, it's a really cool uh, uh, charity. So if you want to check that out, it's at worldbuilders.org. So it's really neat. Um, yeah, so that's The Princess and Mr. Wiffle. This one is Inklings by Tanya Bond. It's the only one I own by Tanya. Um, I've colored a couple in here, but most of it has been untouched. I think um, I had such a bad experience with the paper that I just haven't gone back to it. Um, this was the this was the first one I did and you can really see oh, really see all the white through there and I was so disappointed it took me a couple years so this was in 2016 that I did this one it took me a couple years and then I think last year or the year before I went back and I did this one I got it to blend a lot better but yeah it was work um, I like their eyes though I thought the eyes turned out really cute um, but yeah those two were the only ones I've done I've seen a lot of people do really beautiful things with these. I just, I just haven't gone back. This would be another fun one to do um, for my more portraits goal too. The next two I have are Lacey Sunshine Bunny Trail and Lacey Sunshine Enchanted Frozen Kingdom. This one is a, a newer book. I got this one um, this Christmas and I did this page. I was just having some fun with some alcohol inks and the ba alcohol markers in the background. And um, yeah, I didn't know what I was doing. I was just playing and I made a background. <laughs> so experiment and have fun, I guess is the, the goal of that. I really loved this Santa page. I wish I would have gotten to that one. It's really beautiful. Um, so that one is Enchanted Frozen Kingdom and this one I haven't done anything in, but my daughter's colored a couple in here. I kind of gave it to her um, because I tried the paper out and I was like, mm, 
That's real thin. This is the one I try. I was playing and trying to get see what my alcohol markers did, and of course they bled profusely everywhere. And um, I, I kind of have figured out how to color in these now, so I'll go back and color some more. Probably this Easter out of this one. Um, this next few are all Molly Harrison. Um, let's we'll do this one first. This one is the first one I got. And I colored a couple in here, just trying to play around and get things, figure out how to use my my supplies. So there's one, and then this one was really, really fun to do. Um, and then I think that's it in here. And my cousin did that one. Yeah. Um, this one, I really, I, so the first one I did, there's several beautiful images. If you don't know Molly Harrison, she's got very cool, neat fairies in our oh, my daughter did that one. Um, very cool fairies and witches and mermaids and all the stuff. I did this one. I was so happy with how the background turned out. I was not expecting it to look as cool as it did. Um, and if you'd ask me how I did it, I <laughs> wouldn't be able to tell you. Um, which is a bummer because I'd like to recreate that at some point, but I guess I'll just have to play around and see. But she was highly inspired by the front cover, the red and the, the little blue in her hair and stuff. Um, I did a little bit more blue. Um, but yeah, I thought that, that that turned out really cool. So yeah, there's a Halloween coloring book. And then this one is the Holiday Coloring Fun. This one has some super cute, look at that, the polar bears with wings and festive fairies. And there's some, there's several winter um, ones that could just be straight winter too. And it's all the different styles of her coloring or drawing that she has. This is the one I've started and you can see the wings are all gonna be different colors and stuff. Um, but yeah, that's as far as I've gotten in this one. So that one is Holiday Coloring Fun. Um, these next two are Selena Fennec. Um, this one is one I share with my daughter. So this is, the, there's two images of each, or two sets of each image. And so she's done all these fun ones in the front, which she's had a lot of fun doing. And then I have done only one in here. And it was this cute little dragon. And that was in 2019, so it's been a while since I've colored in this. Um, and then this one, I've colored several in. Again, there's two sets of each image. Um, this, one, yeah, this one I did, I used like Neo Color or something on the background and then to get the gradient for the, the sky. And I was so happy with how everything turned out, and then I tried to add a shadow and I could not figure out how the light source would create the shadow and I was so mad that I I never posted this anywhere because I thought I completely messed it up um yeah the shadow doesn't make a whole lot of sense but the rest of it looks really nice <laughs> um then this one was just straight watercolor um I never went back in and did any detail work or anything and it was just one um layer really um, that's one I did. That was a pretty early one. This one was pretty early, but I was starting to figure out how to blend things in. Um, and then the same on this one. This was an early one too. But I've got some, several colors of skin. I was really proud of the skin tone when I did it because I have so many different colors blended in. Um, yeah. So this one is one that I, I did with all Neo Color. And... Um, this has got the, the gesso, the clear gesso on it, so it's not nearly as, it's nowhere, it's not crinkled at all, actually. Um, so I can go back in with, uh, watercolors or maybe some gouache to do the finer detail work on that. So yeah, that's Selena Fennec Enchanted. Then I've got Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them coloring book. I've only done one page in here, but there's a lot of really cool... Um, pictures of the characters, some of the awesome beasts that he finds. Um, yeah, and 
then I've got this one finished. So this one fell out of the book when I was coloring and I was very upset with that. But this is an Akami and they're the ones that like the, they like to be inside of, um, whatever they're inside of, they grow to fill the size of it. So this is the one that kind of dive bombs into the teapot. Um, yeah, I really like this one. This is one that I really want to do. Um, some other cool animals. Nice portraits. So yeah. Oh, and I did the little cover. This little moon calf. So cute. Oh, and it, on the front, I didn't, I should have noticed that. It's got images from the, the movie on the front and back. Yeah. Man. Okay. So that's Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. And then the next ones I have are my Rita Berman ones. I have, um, well, this is the first one I got because I love fall and I haven't done anything in this except for a few poor partial ones. Um, so I did that one and that's all um, Neo Colors and then I've got is that it? Oh my goodness oh I colored on the front <laughs> I can't believe that's all I've done in here yeah I specifically bought it because I love fall and then I just looked at these I was like they're so cute I don't know how to color it and then of course you get a little intimidated when you see Rita's actual her pages the way she colors them so um, I've done a couple in here. Um, just recently, I finished this one for New Year's this year. All the shimmer, all the glitter gel pen. <laughs> um, and then I've got that one started. I finished that one a couple years ago. It was all done with um, ink tents, I think. Pretty sure. Um, I started that one. I finished this half, but of course I didn't write down any of the <laughs> colors. So this half will be an experiment. Um, I think I've got, you know, I did a little bit on that. I think that's it. Nope, there's a little bit more. Oh, I finished that one. I forgot about that one. Yeah, I finished that one a couple of Easter's ago, I think. And then I did get, I started to do these up here. Um, yeah, and that's it. So that is, oh, I can't say that. So this is all the seasons in one. <laughs> I read a vermin. Um, and then I have both of the land and the water ones. I don't think I have any images colored in this one. No. Again, this is... I just, I pick it up and I flip through it. I'm like, oh, that's cute, that's cute, that's cute. And then I just don't, I don't do it. I might have started something in here. Well, I see some color, so. Um, I did that one. So that one's kind of, that was an experiment with different watercolors and stuff. Um, that must be, yeah, that's the, that's the only one in here. Yeah, and that's it. So there you go. That's it. Um, for this this section, I've still got two pretty big stacks to get through, but I think that I could do it in one more video. So fingers crossed, just one more video to get through. And um, if you've stuck around, I appreciate it. Leave me a comment. Let me know if, like I said before on the uh, previous video, if there's anything that you would like to see in a more detailed flip through, let me know. Um, let me know what your favorite book is. Let me know um, if you'd like to do a body color. I'm always up for those um, in any of the books that I have. And yeah, I think that's it for today. Thanks so much. Bye.